the economy of the United States is in an absolute mess right now. And in today's video, we're going to expose several stats, signs, facts, warnings, and forecasts that prove so. Over the past two years, the state of the U.S. economy has steadily deteriorated and millions of Americans have never recovered financially from the economic shocks brought on by the health crisis. On top of that, they've been dealing with the highest consumer prices in over four decades, and living expenses are still soaring all across the country. U.S. consumers are losing confidence in the economy and have been curbing spending as their buying power shrinks. The younger generations are in disbelief. Most of young Americans, business owners, and financial experts don't see things getting any better anytime soon. That's why today we've gathered some important indicators that show things are getting off the rails in America once again. But before checking this list, please support us by leaving a thumbs up and subscribing to our channels so you don't miss our upcoming lists. Without further ado, here are 15 very surprising facts about the messed up state of the U.S. economy. 1. The first quarter of 2022 is a major indicator of the challenges ahead. In the first three months of the year, the U.S. economy has shrunk, marking the first significant contraction since 2019. GDP, the sum of all goods and services produced in the country, has been dragged down by a sharp drop in exports, slower restocking of goods in stores and warehouses, and a huge increase in the trade deficit. The gross domestic product shrank at an annualized rate of 1.4%, according to the Commerce Department. And Deutsche Bank's analysts are warning that this slowdown is setting the stage for an economic disaster. We will get a major recession, Deutsche Bank economists alerted in a recent report. The problem is that while inflation is still soaring, the economists say it will take a long time before it gets back down to the Fed's goal of 2%. Now that suggests the central bank will raise interest rates so aggressively that it will hurt the economy. We regard it as highly likely that the Fed will have to step on the brakes even more firmly, and a deep recession will be needed to bring inflation to heel. Deutsche Bank economists wrote in its report with the ominous title, why the coming recession will be worse than expected. Two, a survey from CNBC found that more than half of economists and investment professionals expect the Fed to fail in its mission to engineer a soft landing for the economy. Eight in 10 small business owners expect a recession to occur this year. According to the latest CNBC SurveyMonkey Small Business Survey for quarter two, 2022. Rising prices remain the top concern for small businesses. In the second place, with 19% is supply chain disruptions. 13% are still concerned about the health crisis and 13% are worried about labor shortages. The survey also found that few small business owners see any bright spots in the current economy. Only 18% see it as good while 44% rate it as poor. Three, a critical sign that the economy is weakening is that consumers are running out of savings. In April, the personal savings rate in the U.S. ticked down to a 14-year low of 4.4%, according to the latest figures from the Commerce Department, with millions of households already in negative savings territory meaning they are increasingly tapping into their savings to cover purchases each month. That has led PayPal CEO Dan Schulman to sound the alarm about the financial situation of U.S. households. The combination of high spending and high inflation means Americans are burning through savings at a rate that could have them running out by the end of this year, he said. We're already seeing a reduction in spending at lower income levels for sure, and it's moving up to middle income right now, Schulman said. For, on the same note, a recent survey from the market research firm NPD Group uncovered that more than 8 in 10 U.S. shoppers are planning to buy fewer things in the next three to six months. 
The study also revealed that consumers bought 6% fewer items in the first three months of 2022 than they did during the same period in 2021. The slowdown in consumer spending is already dragging on earnings from big box brands and could have ripple effects throughout the economy. There are storm clouds. It's a hurricane, JP Morgan CEO Jamie Dimon noted. That hurricane is right out there down the road coming our way. We just don't know if it's a minor one or Super Storm Sandy. 5. Americans lost purchasing power at a faster rate over the past year than they did over the past decade. From March 2021 to March 2022, Americans have lost on average 0.45% of their purchasing power month over month, totaling a loss of 5.4% as consumer prices rose 8.5%. But wage growth did not keep up with the rate of inflation. Looking longer term, pay scale calculations estimate that median wages, when adjusted for inflation, declined 9% since 2006. On top of that, the New York Federal Reserve Bank's latest survey showed that Americans believe inflation will remain at 4.2% over a three-year horizon. Near-term expectations were up to 5.4% over the next year. That's a record high. Those expectations matter because inflation can easily become a self-fulfilling prophecy. The more people expect inflation, the more businesses tend to raise prices, a process that can result in a price spiral. 6. Consumer confidence is rapidly deteriorating all across America. The U.S. Index of Consumer Sentiment is at a current level of 58.4, down from 65.2 last month and down from 82.9 one year ago. This is a 10.43% decline from last month and a 29.55% contraction from one year ago, according to data provided by the University of Michigan. The figure was lower than all estimates in the Bloomberg Survey of Economists, which called for a median reading of 64 and marked the lowest reading since 2011 as persistent concerns over rising living expenses dimmed Americans' view on the economy. 7. At this point, everything we consume is significantly more expensive and prices continue to rise. Common household purchases continue to be significantly more expensive than a year ago. For instance, last month, the price of food increased 9.4%, the largest 12-month increase since 1981. Meats, poultry, fish, and eggs saw an increase of 14.3%. Fruits and vegetables rose 7.8%. Electricity prices went up by 11.1%. Utility services soared 22.7%. Furniture and bedding faced a 15% increase. Household cleaning products jumped by 10.1%. Gas prices were up between 37% and 47% across all regions. Eight. The rise in living costs is a phenomenon occurring nationwide, but some regions are suffering more than others. For instance, the CPI report reveals that the South saw a 9.1% increase in prices over the year, with the West trailing just behind it with an 8.7% increase. According to JEC calculations, last year the average inflation cost per household rose from roughly $100 in April 2021 to over $380 in January 2022. Americans in the mountain region, Utah, Colorado, Arizona, New Mexico, Montana, Idaho, and Wyoming are experiencing the highest inflation rates with over $500 in added household costs in January. Nine, with all that said, it's understandable why almost half or about 47% of Americans believe that cost of living is the biggest threat to their financial security. According to TD Ameritrade's Financial Disruption Survey, 
Almost just as many, about 44%, also fear the rising cost of health care. 10. Squeezed by higher prices for everyday essentials, American households are taking on record amounts of debt to help make ends meet. In the first quarter of 2022, consumer debt rose to a shocking record of $15.84 trillion. 11. Mortgages account for 71% of all household debt, a number that has consistently climbed. Households have originated $8.4 trillion in new mortgage debt since the health crisis began, a move that has coincided with a massive rise in prices. In fact, the median home price has skyrocketed 30% over the past two years to $428,700. 12. Moreover, in the first few months of 2022, the share of Americans living paycheck to paycheck has also ticked back up. In April 2021, 52% of Americans were living paycheck to paycheck. Now, about 64.4% of Americans, or 166 million adults, report they are living paycheck to paycheck, according to research by Lending Club. 13. Right now, about 67% of families feel that their income can't keep up with the cost of living, as reported on Prime America's latest Middle Income Financial Security Monitor. A separate survey conducted by one poll revealed that the average American believes they'd need an income of $86,000 to feel comfortable financially. However, regardless of how much money they earn, 57% say their finances will always make them feel stressed. 4. Generation Z and Millennials are terrified about the economy because they've never witnessed an economic downturn before. Both groups don't have much faith in the economy right now. According to a Deloitte survey, just 28% expect the country's economic situation to improve over the next 12 months. I feel like we're always bracing for catastrophe, Robbie Barnhart, a 30-year-old millennial pilot, said in an interview with Insider. Truly, we've seen hell break loose so many times that this current system that we have is not working out for us specifically, Barnhart added. 15. Unfortunately, Americans are going to see things going south once again as the economy finally faces a reckoning. Many financial experts can already see that the cracks are starting to show. J.P. Morgan Chase & Co. Chief U.S. Economist Michael Farrelly said he now sees growth to decline from 2.4% in the second half of this year to just 1% by the end of 2022. Goldman Sachs also downgraded their outlook in the past week. Bank of America economists cut their forecast too, predicting the economy will only be growing 0.4% until the end of the year. I don't think you can have a completely benign soft landing of the economy at this point where inflation comes down but unemployment doesn't go up, said Ethan Harris, head of global economics research at Bank of America. We're either going to have a weak economy or a deep recession, he warned. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the middle of a long-term economic decline, and it is clear that the system simply does not work as it should anymore. Thanks to decades of reckless monetary decisions, this is only the start of our problems. Things are only going to get worse from here, and the U.S. population can already feel it. Can you feel it? We'd like to see your comments below this video. Please share this with friends and family, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.